I would like to welcome everyone on our next episode of Getting to Know Our Heavenly Family. Today, I would like to talk about St. Stanislaus of Kostka. He is a patron of Poland, of my home country. In 1550, Stanislaus Kostka was born into a powerful and aristocratic family in Poland. The second of seven children, he was shy, sensitive and deeply religious even for a child. At age 14, he, had, he and his older brother Paul were sent to the Jesuit college in Vienna. There Stanislaus became known for his diligence, studiousness and unusually pious behavior. As a result, he withstood much testing and content from his peers. When Paul, his brother, bullied his younger brother cruelly, making Stanislaus' life even more miserable. After enduring two years of this, Stanislaus became deathly ill. Convinced he was dying, the boy requested the last sacraments. Soon after, he had a vision in which the Virgin Mary told him he should become a Jesuit. When he recovered, Stanislaus asked to be admitted to the Society of Jesus but the provincial in Vienna refused. So in 1567, Stanislaus walked 350 miles to Rome in order to ask direct permission from Francis Borgia, the father general. Stanislaus finally arrived in Rome totally exhausted and after three weeks of service was admitted to the society. When news reached his father, he was furious and ordered Stanislaus home but his son had found his calling and was determined to remain and carry out his duties. However, nine months later, Stanislaus became seriously ill and died at the age of 18. Stanislaus' faith and determination, his love for Jesus Christ and the Holy Sacrament, his devotion to his task and his strong spirit of prayer have made him a model for young novices. He was canonized in 17. 26. As a child and as a student, Stanislaus was different from other children. His family did not really understand his sensitive and intensely religious ways. At school, students teased and bullied him. Yet Stanislaus was able to persevere and follow God's calling. Sometimes it is not easy for parents to understand and accept their children the way they are. Parents need to offer advice and guidance, but they also need to let their children grow and develop according to their own inclination. Like Stanislaus, children suffer when they are teased and bullied. To withstand this cruel harassment, they need support and encouragement from their parents and other adults in their lives. It is also important for adults to work constructively with children who torment others. We have to be alert to how children interact and intervene when necessary. Be a good role model, be kind and positive, and do not mock or make belittling remarks about other people. And we have to take children's feelings seriously. And let us finish with a prayer to St. Stanislaus. Eternal Father, you gave St. Stanislaus Kostka the courage to endure the harassment and ridicule of his peers for his faith. Fill us with your spirit and strengthen us in your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.